Hello everyone, this is Christian from Alesis. Today, I'm going to show you how to set up your controller with Pro Tools first. Go to alesis.com and click on Account. You can either sign in if you already have an account, or select Create if you are a new customer. Enter your name, email, and create a password that meets the criteria on this page. Click on the reCAPTCHA checkbox and select Create Account. That's it, we're ready to register your controller. You will be navigated to the sign-in page. Log into your Elises account with the credentials you just created. Click on Register Product. Then find your keyboard on the Product drop-down menu. Turn over your controller, find the white tag with a barcode, and enter the serial number beginning with a 21 in parentheses. Make sure to type in the serial number exactly as it is printed on the white bar tag. If you do not include the parentheses around the 21, the keyboard will not register. Enter the date of purchase with a two-digit month, two-digit day, and four-digit year. Then click Register My Product. You will be prompted to your products page where you can find all of your included software license keys and downloads. In your Registered Products page, you will see a link for your copy of Pro Tools first. Click on the Pro Tools link and you will be prompted to sign into your Abbott account or to create a new one. In this tutorial, we will be making a new account. Fill out all of the necessary fields, click on the recapture checkbox, and select Submit. Now you will be prompted to enter your iLock ID, so the license for Pro Tools first can be deposited directly into your iLock account. We will activate the license on your computer later on in this video. You will have to enter your iLock password in order to give Avid permission to deposit a license into your account. Drop down the menu for each of these questions. Check the box that best fits your description and click Email My Download Links. Navigate to your email inbox and choose the download for your operating system. In this tutorial, we will be using the Mac download. At the bottom of the download email, you will see a link that will navigate you to your Avid account. Keep your account credentials handy since we will need them to open up your first Pro Tools project later on in this video. Click on My Products and Subscriptions. Then click on the Pro Tools First drop-down menu, and then the Show drop-down menu. This is where all of your downloads are located. In this example, we will be downloading and installing the DB33 plugin. Once the Pro Tools and DB33 zip files have finished downloading, click on them individually so they begin to extract. Double-click on the PKG file for each download and the installers will begin to run. Click Continue throughout the installer prompts, and finally enter your computer password to begin the installation. The installation may take a few minutes. Once it is finished, click Done. Once Pro Tools First has finished installing, launch the iLock License Manager and log into your account. You will see the Pro Tools license. Control click on the license and select Activate. Choose your computer as a location, select Activate one more time, and you're done. You will see how many activations you have left at the end of the license column. Repeat this process if you wish to authorize a second computer. Launch Pro Tools first from your Launchpad or Spotlight search. The program will ask you to log into your Pro Tools account. Use the email and password that's associated with your Avid account. At first, the program may take a little while to open since it's scanning for all available plugins. In the event that you get an error when initializing the Pro Tools playback engine, please see the Avid Knowledge Base article at the bottom of this page on how to configure your playback engine properly. Make a name for your project, click Create, and a Pro Tools session will load up. Once your Pro Tools session is open, go to Setup and select MIDI Input Devices. You should see your controller listed. Make sure there's a check mark next to the controller name so Pro Tools knows where to receive incoming MIDI from. Hover over to Track and select New. To use a plugin in Pro Tools, we will need to make an instrument track. Now we're ready to load DB33. Pro Tools natively knows where to scan for its plugins on startup, so there will be no need to choose a location before loading the instrument. Go to your inserts, select Plugin, Instruments, and DB33. The GUI will open up. If you press some keys on your controller, you should see some meter response and hear audio output from your computer.
If you want to record your performance, make sure the instrument track is recorded on. Click record on your transport controls and then press play. If you require further technical assistance, please visit the link at the bottom of this article to submit a support request or connect with one of our technical support representatives.